Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore, aka Hardcraft. Where last time we finished the uh, the house, the new house, and by putting in some oak doors and putting my bed up in the top, it is just glorious. Now this is kind of a dinky looking bed. It would be better if it was bigger, but it's okay. And we'll eventually expand the map and this is kind of like our panoramic view of of the world and look at that pretty horse over there and yeah it's just what is that that is a floating leaf from last time whenever I chopped down so many trees anyway yeah so this is um this is hardcraft and so today what I want to do is first of all grab my yeah grab my crafting table I left my door open can't be letting the breeze in we want it to stay nice and warm um now I what I need to do is dig the basement and I, I was thinking about you know the up and down system but I think that this is working out just fine so what I want to do is I actually want to make this the downstairs area where I want to chop this down and then flush it all out from here which means I'm gonna need another water bucket and also kind of stare at this for a second hold on so if this is the ceiling I need to go down one two three four five if I want to put in a floor from here one two three four five if I want it to be epic like this and I kind of do so let's go ahead and chop it down um, one two uh, kind of want to do the external wall as well ooh can't do that can't do that okay <laughs> uh, here let's do it like this let's just Let's make this to be the outer wall, okay? For the, for the, um... What am I trying to say? For the basement, okay? So this is two, and so three, four, and five. Never smart to chop the block that you're standing on, but, you know, you gotta make exceptions. And there's that water. Okay, um... I'm curious about something. If I actually set a cobblestone block right down there, it goes across. Hmm. So I do have to have that block chopped out. Which means I would ideally have the next block chopped out too. Okay. So I guess I'll just have to be aware that that block can never be chopped out. <laughs> never, never, never. Got it. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how far I can go, actually. Okay, not that far. Not that far, and likely not this far either. Yeah, so this has to be the wall right here. So let me grab the dirt. Fill in the area. There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna go all the way around. How about that? As soon as I get the perimeter done, then I'm gonna be ready to go, man. It's gonna be like choppa choppa time. I don't know why I'm doing this so spastically. I just feel like being spastic. Okay, uh... Yeah, I didn't think so. So all of this, none of this can be chopped out either. Just because of what's on the other side. So... Right here. Perfect! And I go, I realize I'm only doing three levels, but it's because it's easiest to do three from a standing position. I mean, I can do more, I think, but... It's alright. This isn't gonna take that long. Okay, so this spot is a negative, and I think that this spot is too. Yeah. Looking good, all right. So this basement is practically already dug. I mean, let's just be honest. It doesn't take that long to chop out dirt. I just trying to find my full perimeter. And then I'm golden. And actually, I think I'm hearing spiders right now. Okay, yeah, so I'm really close. Oh, I just heard a zombie, yeah. That's kind of creepy. Ooh, I need my, hold on. 
can hear kind of where they are now. Zombie groans. Ah, oh, they're that direction. Okay, so they're underneath me. No problem. I'm gonna have so much extra dirt. This is gonna be great. And you know, I should probably put some torches down to keep from dying while I'm in here. Yeah, let's... Let's lay down a few torches. Preemptively. You know, to prevent death and such. Be the worst if I'm sitting here digging and not paying attention, then next thing I know there's a creeper falling on my head. That would be bad. Okay, so doing our homework. We got the perimeter done. Now it's just a slow choppa choppa grind. Fortunately, I do have a diamond uh, shovel, so it should be quicker than normal. And then I'm. This is the three levels. I've got to go five down, and then I can actually make a decision if I if I look at what it would look like to put like a maybe a cobblestone base around to the the floor level of the house. Then um, I could actually do that where. I can then chop out the outside wall too and actually make it look like a, a, a basement. Problem is I don't have enough cobblestone to do that, so we're gonna definitely have to go do some mining to finish off the, the aesthetics of this building. I don't even I don't even think I have enough building material to do a floor. So, so that's a thing. But yeah, no, I don't think I'm gonna want to. Um, I don't think I'm gonna want to like chop this further and put a wall. I may end up just building a wall within the hole that I'm digging now. I just feel like mixing it up here and going around. Counterclockwise. Yeah, I'm hearing zombies and I hate it. I wonder where they're where they're hanging out. Like, are they just in a cave or? Because I've already lit up the entire surface very well, like very thorough. I don't know. I may decide to like dig toward it someday and, and find where they're coming from and solve the problem. <laughs> I like how you can just like dig underneath the building. You don't have to worry about structural integrity. You know, you don't have to worry about the weight bringing it down onto your head. You can just dig under it. It's perfectly stable. <laughs> so grateful. I mean, obviously, if you build it out of sand or gravel, then you're going to be in big trouble. But other than that, I mean, it'll float all day long if you want it to. It's great. I guess somebody who thinks very logically would think of that. Everyone else would just be like, why are you thinking so much about this like this? Like, it's it's a game. Chill, bro. <laughs> just chill, bro. Oop, I've actually run out of inventory space for this dirt. That's crazy. Alright, so that is that. Uh, what can I do with... Ah, I know what I can do. Make the planks. And probably I should place down my crafting table. It's gonna place it on the wall. And if I make some chests... I mean, I'm not quite ready for chests yet. I'm gonna need to make some chests. Let's just do it. I can store the extra dirt in there, so let's go ahead and do a, a double chest. Okay, put away the dirt. I'm just gonna put dirt in here for now, only dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. Okay. So I'm gonna go down two more levels, and then I'm probably gonna end up running into some, I think I've seen some stone on the surface already, so we'll chop through this. And I just realized if I expose a cave or something, I don't want to be standing on the, like, over the gap. So I'm going to just keep an eye on where I'm digging here. And it looks like I'm just clipping into the stone on this side, which is pretty cool. That means that I may can just leave the floor as stone for the most part, and uh, it'll look okay. Better than cobblestone floor. Ooh! Oh, nice. By the way, have you ever noticed that it does take a little bit longer to chop out dirt if it has grass? Never really noticed that, did you? Yeah, now that you've now that you've heard this from me, you're going to look at it, you're going to realize, oh wow, he was telling the truth. That's crazy, man. I'm also surprised that the dirt is so deep in this place. You know? Normally it's only like two or three layers deep, but it's actually quite deep this time. 
I thought I heard water falling for a second, but actually, it's apparently me standing on top of this dirt. Or digging the dirt, one or the other. Alright, so I've done all the digging with the dirt that I'm able to. Let's get some free cobblestone, shall we? I'm not a huge fan of having dirt walls, but it looks like that's the way it's going to be for uh, at least the first first few minutes of having this building, <laughs> this, uh, this basement. Also, I'm very grateful to have all this coal, so I'll take it. I've got a little bit of stone, I think, that I've smelted, but I can't quite remember. Also, guys, um, I thought about doing this. Um, I, I, I need bamboo. I thought about going and trying to find some. Does that sound fun to you? Because there's got to be a jungle out there somewhere. And I was thinking about actually trying to go looking across the water. Because I've never actually been there. I've been to the north and I've been to the west. But I've never been to the south. And the ocean is to the south and to the east. So I thought, yeah, let's just try the south now. And see what's there. There's a massive badlands biome to the north, and it's that's a dry um, a dry climate. So I thought maybe it's logical to think that maybe there's a wetter climate, a jungle to the south. I don't know. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Also, you know, I could use like diorite or granite or something. I've got lots of extra granite. You know what? It'd be kind of cool to make the floor like polished granite in here, because I'm obviously not going to have a a uniform floor naturally. Would be nice if I did though. But, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Yeah, like if I did like a, a polished granite floor and then like a, maybe like a polished andesite or a polished diorite walls. I think that would probably look the best. Why do I have a hole over there? Oh, the coal, that's right, okay. For some reason, man, my brain just left me. Also, I just realized I took out, I took out some stone I didn't have to take out. Yeah, the outer ring is going to be covered up by the wall and by the floor, so I didn't have to take it out. Here. Let's do a quick... Oh, hold on. Let's just fill this up with cobblestone real quick, and then I'm going to... I'm going to go grab some, uh, some granite and polish it. I think I can do that just in my inventory. I don't think I have to have a special machine. But let's just put an outer ring of uh, cobblestone. But again, this corner is going to be covered up anyway. Yeah, this lower corner is going to be covered up. There we go. Okay, and uh, water bucket. And it's going to land here, so just temporarily speaking, let's just keep it from doing anything stupid. Yeah. Okay, and it is dark outside. Huzzah! I need some more water. This is exciting. It's it's finally happening. And uh, how much? Day 95. So I, I'm definitely going to have a completed house by day 100. That's awesome. That worked out nicely. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Darn it. I probably just destroyed a bunch of torches and stuff too. Now stuff can spawn literally right outside my front door. At least I cleared off a whole bunch of uh, grass. That's nice. Yeah, I ruined so many torches. Okay. Not bad. Okay, so what was I doing? Oh, the button. Yeah, that's right. Gotta use the button. All right. Oh, there's my extra sand. Or glass, sorry. Um, so what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to get granite. Okay, so do I have enough? I may or may not have enough. I think this is literally all the granite that I have. A hundred. A hundred pieces of granite. Let's check the mine real quick. I love that the fact that it's night outside, but it's totally secure out here now. I think that this chest in here has been emptied out, but I'm just going to double check. Yeah, it's emptied out. Fine. It'd be nice if I had respiration on my helmet. I wouldn't be scared as much whenever I go up these things. Okay. 
Oh, can I polish it? I can! Nice! Okay, I don't want to do all of it. I just want to do some of it, so let's get down here and see how big this is. So we got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we need 120. I literally have 105. So what if I did maybe like a combination of granite and diorite? What if I did a combination of granite and diorite? I don't think I have any diorite. I've got a little bit in here. Okay, I've got an idea. It, it, it's, it may not be a good idea, but it's still an idea. So let's jump over here. I'm going to do an outer ring of granite, and then I'm going to do like a checkerboard of granite and diorite. So, let me just do this first, I guess. Yeah. All right, so, floor. Outer ring of granite, since I've got extra granite. That was not what I meant to do. Come on. Nice. Uh, cobblestone beneath. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Um... You know what? Let me just put some more torches down. I'm just super paranoid about creepers just randomly spawning in and ruining everything. Hmm, I just realized if that's inside of the wall, then this outer ring doesn't make any sense. Anyway, let, let's do the die right now. And do the granite. Okay, so I've got 64 of each. So now if I do... something like this... Then I can fill the gaps in with the granite, and that should do it, I think. It's gonna look quite ornate for a basement, but you know, it's better than nothing, I think. Yeah, I've got plenty of diorite. Nice. Nice. This is very ornate. Um, I, I might want to... I might want to do this somewhere else than in the basement, but I guess for now it's okay. Wow. It, it is... It's beautiful, though. Let's be honest. It's beautiful. It's just kind of silly, I think. Anyway, uh... Hmm. I'm gonna take up this this chest right quick. Oh, I'm gonna have a hard time getting the chest in my inventory, aren't I? Just need the chest in my inventory. That's all I need. Come on. Chests, chests, chests. Yes. Okay. So, uh, let me place these chests in a safer spot. I can deposit all the dirt, and I can also deposit the extra polished and non-polished stuff. Okay. And this is just a temporary measure, because I now need to figure out what I want to do with the walls. So if it's just solid dirt the entire way around, that's fine, but it doesn't match the floor. So I'm wondering if I can't just use cobblestone. I've got lots of I've got lots of dirt. Do I have any cobblestone? I don't think I have any cobblestone. I may have to go down and grab a little bit of it. I got some smooth stone. No, I don't have any cobblestone. Okay, so let's go grab some cobblestone, but let me just do a bit of math and figure out how much I'm gonna need. I may just do like a line of 100 or something, but okay, so right here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, times 1, 2, 3, 4, so 14 times 4 is 56, so let's just say 2 stacks, and then um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 10, times 
four is 80. So three stacks. So just a little bit more than three stacks would be perfect. Just a tiny bit more than three stacks. And again, while I'm down here, I will um, should probably put some stuff away. I guess I'd fill up my inventory. Um, extra emeralds, glass, all the things. Definitely don't need a lectern. I like it whenever the chest actually fills up because then I can like stack stuff that's not normally stacked. Okay. Okay, that'll that'll do for now. I've got extra stuff I don't normally carry with me, but that's all right. Okay, so three and a half, let's just say four stacks of cobblestone just to be safe. And, like I said, or I was gonna say, but I think I failed to say it. I was thinking it, but I didn't say it. Um, whenever you come down here, it gives you an opportunity to find more diamonds, so I'm definitely on for that. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna just make the, the ceiling cobblestone. Although the floor, okay, the ceiling's also cobblestone. So we may actually end up needing to replace the ceiling, but that's okay, that's okay, we'll, we'll do it later. The basement ceiling, which should technically be the, the bottom floor of the, uh, or the, the, uh oh. Oh, I forgot about this place. Huh. I see you, creeper. I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, I'm gonna end up, I mean, I'm going to end up with more granite and diorite as I go. So... Ooh, more gold. Nice. I'm going to save that for now. Okay, so that's the same creeper. What's up, dude? That's the same creeper that I saw just a minute ago. So that means that the, the two places are connected. I do need some experience points. I need to get to 30 so I can do some more enchanting. So I'll take all the things that I can get. I just realized leaving exposed lava is a dumb thing to do, so just let me let me go finish the job here. There's more lava somewhere. It's scary. Yeah, because whenever I come back the other way, I'm gonna basically go straight over that lava pit. So I'm glad that I turned it into obsidian. I can handle obsidian. Oh, oh, that would have that would have been bad. See, that's why you turn all lava that you find into flipping obsidian. Oh, that would have been bad. That would have been awful. I wonder how many stacks I've already gotten. But yeah, as I do this, I'm gonna get more granite. I'm gonna get more diorite, and I may end up doing the same like ornate, stupid floor in the the, the base level as well. Uh, just to kind of help make it look a little more reasonable because uh, right now having having such a beautiful floor in my basement kind of stupid but you know it was it was fun I enjoyed making it using the materials that I normally don't use nice Endervin whoops that's what it's called a whoop I wonder how many cobblestone stacks I've made now Okay, so I've got one, two... Okay, cool. So as long as I finish... As long as I go down this line again, I should end up with plenty of... Uh, cobblestone. I think it's about time to get efficiency on this pickaxe, too. What do you guys think? Give me mo experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I think maybe like polished. I know I, I hate andesite, but maybe like polished andesite.
for the floor of the first level would be better. That means I kind of want to keep everything. I guess dirt. Dirt's the thing I need the least. Okay. I don't know. Just thinking out loud. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. Nope. 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 There we go. I hate the Enderman sound, man. And the fact that the Enderman killed me that the first, uh, in like, uh, what was it, episode 7? It just highly, it, it turned me off from Enderman for, for a while. <laughs> I'm gonna have a hard time dealing with Enderman in any capacity going forward. For a while. And I definitely have enough cobblestone now, so this is looking good. Definitely need some extra iron. I'm surprisingly not doing that well iron-wise, and I think it's because I kept using it up. Yeah, there's that obsidian. I'm hearing more lava too, jeez. This is a dangerous place. Ooh, more diamonds! I knew it. That makes it worth it right there, guys. That makes it worth it. Oh, yes. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, so, found more diamond. <clears throat> I'm gonna definitely chop underneath and, uh... Bro. Bro, are you kidding me right now? Are you for real right now? See, that would have been bad. Actually, it looks like it's... Ah, uh, it is directly beneath the diamond. That is why you chop out what is underneath the diamond to make sure that when you chop it out, it doesn't land in lava. That is why. And actually, you do that around the edges too, and especially up top, because you don't want to expose anything evil above it as well. Or like a lava that, that'll, that'll come down and consume you whenever you chop it out. So this is why I'm always so particular whenever it comes to finding lava. Or, uh, I'm sorry, whenever it comes to finding diamond, I always, I try to always do this little process. Just to be sure. Okay, I don't do it with everything, because if I like, if I lose a little bit of redstone, eh, it's whatever, you know. But losing diamond? Unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. I'm at level 25 now, so I'm doing actually pretty well, level-wise. Uh, need to get to level 30, and then, uh, it'll be time to enchant my sword. Yes, my sword is my next, my next adventure. Okay, how do I get out of here? There we go. All right. Ooh, I accidentally chopped out that diamond. I thought I was chopping out the cobblestone above it. All right, so uh, this is a, um, it looks like a vein of eight diamond. Let's see actually how we do with this lovely fortune three. 18, nice. So we got uh, more than two per block. That's amazing. You know what? I'm just going to keep going. Am I at the right level? I am. I'm at the right level. Finding diamond, though, you know? It's amazing. Ooh, that, that is... Ha! That's the lava pit that I found earlier. That I almost didn't uh, convert into obsidian. Okay, one day I'll go in there. Once I have a bow. Really, I really should prioritize getting a bow. I really should. Enchantments and bow. That would be, that would be my priority list if I had to make one right now. Enchantments... Especially enchanting a bow. Definitely want to do that soon. Yeah, I should be through soon. I've only got one torch left. Yeah, this is my last torch. I should be there right now. Nice. Alright, so we found more diamond. That That was an added bonus. To this little mining expedition. So let me grab, or let me uh, complete the. Whoa, whoa! Actually, I should probably sleep. I don't want 
phantoms or whatever attacking me. Here, um, yeah, so I'm gonna finish the walls in my basement, and then make a whole bunch of chests, and, um, I'll- I'll come up with a storage system eventually. <laughs> gonna definitely use some item frames and- and- and mark it up, it's gonna be good. Alright, I know that nothing's up here, but you never know, you wanna be very, very careful. Ooh, I should put my enchanting system, or my and my enchantment area, up there. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> this floor looks so epic. It looks like I should be like training for the Olympics or something down here. This is crazy. I don't need all of these torches here. And actually, this is good because it's going to cover up that spot, which is where the water is. All right, I think I've got enough cobblestone to just fill in the gap. And honestly, like polished smooth stone or whatever would be better, I think. But really, for walls of a basement, I'm not going to get all that picky. I apparently got really picky about the floor of the basement, but I'm not going to get so picky about the walls. Because, you know, floors are the priority. Definitely need to identify where these zombie groans are coming from, though. It's the worst. Technically, not fill in that corner, but I don't want to accidentally dig right above it and then fall and, and hurt myself. Okay, I should technically take out that as well. That's gonna be a bit like a, like a sunken column that I'm gonna jump into to fly. Should even do that one down there too. Yeah, see now I can just jump in here and boom. Pretty sweet. Looking good. Notice I, I've noticed that the episodes lately, especially whenever I'm building, end up longer than uh, 30 minutes, which I've always tried to kind of keep episodes at 30 minutes. I've had a lot of you guys in the comments that are so nice. You're always like, "Ah, dude, it's all good if it's long. Just you know, keep keep going." And and I get that. I appreciate that. But I'm also trying to control the length of the videos just for my own sake as well. Okay, so um, F7 looks like we're good as far as spawning goes, but I do want to put some. Let's do every... Oh, I'm out of torches. My bad. Nope. I actually have 12 left. Perfect. So... Four... Yeah, let's just do three. Three away from the corner on all four walls. Yeah, there we go. And I can take these away, and we'll see if the light is enough for the middle. It looks like it's not, but that's alright, I'll fix it. So if I had to guess, I would say the middle is... Oh wow, there's not a center. This is the very center. Okay. Cool! So guys, I have officially dug out my basement. A uh, very important part of the whole process, because now I'm going to have chest upon chest upon chest in here, and it's going to be where the majority of my storage is. Also, I should probably build a trap door to keep myself from accidentally falling down there. Um, I can do that right now with... Oh, I don't have any wood. I have literally no wood on me. Never mind. Um, oh, also, you guys were curious about in the last video, like, what am I, I mean by processes? I'm in, like, an absolute epic smelting factory. I mean, like, you know, crafting table and all the other operating benches, the, the type of machines and stuff that we need to just live life in Minecraft. All that will be existing down here, and then obviously up here will be where I sleep. <laughs> and I want to also, I don't know, decorate it in a nice way, have some little like potted plants and stuff, I don't know. Little table and chairs, make it look pretty homely. So, uh, yeah, guys, that was, uh, I dug a big hole, I know, but I did, it was important, it was important work. That's going to do it for me today in this episode of Minecraft Hardcore. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Next time, I will be finishing out my storage system, planning the librarian 
um, building, and I may even start building it in the next episode. I'm not entirely sure. It just depends. So, uh, guys, like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button. Also, if you haven't already for daily gaming videos, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.